After knowing about the addition of vectors, let's see the properties of addition of vectors. So namely four properties are very important in context to addition, the first being commutativity, the second being associativity, the third being existence of additive identity, the fourth being existence of additive inverse. So these are the four main properties. The first one is commutativity. Commutativity in mathematics you have already studied many a times, especially in relations and functions. These four names are not new to you. This I know for sure. Now commutativity, let me make some things more clear in context and uh, put a light on commutativity. If I have 4 multiplied by 2, the result is 8. If I have 2 multiplied by 4, the result is 8. So A multiplied by B, if A is your 4, B is your 2, the result of A multiplied by B is the result of B multiplied by A. That is commutativity of multiplication. So similarly, I talk about commutativity in the context of addition of two vectors. So if I have two vectors A and B and if I add them, so A plus B is equal to B plus A. That is your commutativity of addition of two vectors. Now how do I prove this and why do I have to name this property? So specifically speaking, simply directly I will be drawing a parallelogram and let's prove this with the help of parallelogram law of vector addition. The proof is anyways not in your syllabus but okay let's do it for this question at least. So A vector is here, B vector is here, this is the given direction. Now the resultant will be the direct, uh, diagonal in the case of the parallelogram law of vector addition. It will not follow a cyclic order so it will be like this, it will be A vector plus B vector. So that is the resultant when you take into consideration AB vector and BC vector. But what if you have to take into consideration here is B vector and here is A vector. So this is D. So what is the resultant when you have to obtain for here that means DC and AD vector. In upper triangle also you will follow the addition and that will be the vector addition when you see that the vector addition also gives you the same result, you know that this is the property of commutativity. Please keep care of the arrows that you can check on your own whether these are right or wrong. That is a task for you. Now, this is about commutativity of vector addition. Let's talk about associativity of vector addition. Associativity. This again I will show you with the help of mathematical numerical example. Suppose I have 4, 2 and 3 as A, B and C. Now what is A plus B plus C in these two senses? That means when I have a bracket, that means I have to solve the bracket first. So the bracket is 5 which is 2 plus 3 and A is 4, so 4 plus 5 which is 9. Talking about A plus B plus C, where A plus B is in the bracket, that is 6 plus 3 which is 9. So 9 is equal to 9. When 9 is equal to 9, I say that I have followed the associativity in this case and I checked it and I saw that associativity is possible in addition of certain scalar numbers. When talking about associativity for vector addition, I know that in vector addition also this follows well a plus b vector plus c vector addition is actually equal to a plus b plus c vector such that earlier you can take a and b addition, later you can take b and c addition. So associativity has been done. The next thing that is important is existence of additive identity. Now what is identity element? If you go back to the concept in relations and functions or if you see it in normal algebra of mathematics, additive identity or identity element is what? Suppose I have a number say 2, what is its multiplicative identity? Multiplicative identity or identity element will be what number should be multiplied in order to give me back this number. So 2 1 is 2, so 1 is your identity element. Similarly here, since it is not the case of multiplication but addition, so what is the additive identity in case of addition? So if I have a vector, and what should be added to a vector to give me back a vector? 
so a vector should give me back a only when zero is added and zero is nothing but your null vector so null vector or zero vector is additive identity for this given vector because zero vector will not give any addition to the magnitude the same magnitude will come and uh, direction also you know according to the definition of zero vector the last but not the least is existence of additive inverse now what is additive inverse like i know that the inverse term also i can see with the help of numerical example suppose i have 2 and now i need the result as 0 so what should be added to it so to add minus 2 will give me only 0 so 2 when added to minus 2 gives me 0 that is the identity so i know that minus 2 is the additive inverse now in this case of addition of vectors let's see what would be the additive inverse like so if i have a given vector as a and i need my null vector so what do i add what should be the case let me remove this equal to this should be plus i should be adding minus a so the negative vector when i add will give me null vector so that means the additive inverse will be what it will be the negative of that given vector so these are the four important properties which we started with the help of example in case of properties of addition of vectors